Hi, I'm Caroline Bateman, and I'm going to do a very quick video now about the accessibility features in Word Online. They are found in an area of Word Online called Immersive Reader. But what I want to stress before I go in and show you this functionality is this amazing functionality is completely free. You do not have to purchase anything. You do not have to download anything to use it. It's just available online. So now let's take a look at it. So once again, I am reading my chemistry revision booklet. Um, this is a Word document supplied by the teacher and I always say it is worthwhile asking teachers to supply electronic notes because if you have an electronic copy of your notes rather than a hard copy, a piece of paper, then you can use all these accessibility features. And this time I am not reading this Word document on Microsoft Word on my machine, I am working reading it online. So here we see I am reading a Word document but I am reading it online and anybody can do this as long as they have a free Microsoft account. And rather than be in the home tab, I am now in the view tab. So home tab is where we would spend most of the time when we're creating a document. But now I'm going to go into the view tab and I see I have this option of immersive reader. An immersive reader is very, very similar to what we find in Office 365 learning tools, but it's slightly different. So it's similar, but it's different. So let's have a look at them. It's easier to see than explain. And I see straight away that my document looks really different. The background color has changed, the font has changed, and then I see that the colors of the text has changed as well. So over here, we now have the options available to us and down here at the bottom. So if I wanted this to be read to me, I would play this. Chemistry revision booklet one, content. And I could change the voice and the speed um, very, very easily here. I could make it a male voice. Contents, names of acids and bases. So here, there, we've had it read aloud. And then at the top are the other options available to me. So the first one is text preferences. And obviously I can change the size of the text. I can increase the spacing of the text, which some people find very helpful. I can change the font very, very quickly. They don't have dyslexia friendly fonts like the uh, bottom heavy open dyslexic or dyslexy, which is surprising, but I've created other videos that explain exactly how you can download those quickly and easily. I can change the background color. And if I didn't like that, I could look at more colors. I have other options available to me. And this is where um, you have a lot more functionality in Word Online than you do in Office 365, which is the paid for version. And my students really like this. And you see it better if I scroll down a bit because you see the different colors. So what it's doing is it's saying for different parts of speech, they are colored different colors. And obviously you can change these to be different colors, but I'm very happy with them as they are. But if that's not enough, you can actually say to show labels. And again, it's better if I scroll down for you to see this. So we can see that not only does it color code them, but it actually says this is an adjective, this is a noun, this is, an, uh, this is a noun, this is a verb. So students get very, very excited about that. And I think it's helpful with their own work if they create their own work and then come in and look at it, they can see where they've used nouns and verbs and adjectives and children find that very helpful. And then they can have their own work read back to them and they can hear mistakes. But one of the areas that isn't so good here is they cannot make changes without coming out of the immersive reader. Uh, so I'm going to take off um, the syllable division uh, on our put on syllable division and then I take it off and I can take off the labels. So I just have the color codes now as opposed to all the different labels, which does make it rather busy. And now we're going to have a look at the reading preference. This is very similar to Office 365. I can have a line focus. I can have it as a single line or multiple lines or five lines. 
um, I'm just going to take offline focus for the time being and again I'm going to scroll down so you can see some more information. We have something called picture dictionary switched on. Children absolutely love this. So what I'm able to do now is I'm going I'm able to say let's have a look at the picture dictionary. Oh I've picked one that isn't yet um, that hasn't got one. Let's see one that will. Metals. So we have a metal. We have an atom. Let's see electricity. And children really love this picture dictionary that I've switched on. And you'll notice I was uh, working with a South African student yesterday and there's something else here that I've said to translate words into Afrikaans. It could have been anything, um, let's say into uh, Czech. Uh, and do it by word or by document. So now if we look at metal, I can see the check for that word as well. And you could actually go in and um, translate a whole document. I do not know how perfect the translation would be, but it's a feature that I think is, is very, very clever. I particularly like it by word. Um, so I think that's all the functionality I was going to show you. If I want to come out of Immersive Reader, I just click that and I'm back in the document as it was. For completeness sake, I'm going to show you why I think that this is called Immersive Reader and not Learning Tools as it is in Office 365. And this is where I think there is a limitation. Here I have a piece of work that a student has typed himself and we use um, read aloud to hear mistakes and then correct them. Now, read aloud isn't available now. It's only available if I go into Immersive Reader. And when I go into Immersive Reader, I have the lovely coloring of the nouns and the verbs and the adjectives. So that is really helpful for a child to see in their own writing what parts of speech they have used. And yet, if I'm listening to this back, the only got a junk to tell that make us laugh. Oh, when I see, oh, that alway doesn't sound right, I can't change it here. It will read it, but it won't change it. And if I want to make any changes, I'm, I'm typing the keys right now, I have to come out of Immersive Reader. So it's very much a reader as opposed to an editor. I hope that makes sense. But once I'm out of the immersive reader, there's nothing to stop me correcting the spelling mistakes now in Word Online. So in conclusion, I would say that Word Online has some incredibly helpful functionality and the fact that it's free is just amazing. But it is definitely for reading, not editing. And there are many, many benefits that students derive if they type their work and they only get those really in Office 365. But Microsoft claim to give away an installed version of Office 365 to all students and educators for schools that have enrolled in their program. But I think if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I will supply a copy of the link below, but truthfully, I think schools will have had to invested in Microsoft before they give away free licenses. However, your school might have done so, so it's worth checking out now. Because the, if you have the functionality in Word Online, Immersive Reader, and 365 Learning Tools, you have a fantastic suite of tools to support dyslexic learning. This video has gone on long enough, but I'm only just scraping the surface of what can really help learners in Microsoft Word. So I totally recommend you check out my video on the benefits of touch typing. You watch the video on learning tools in Word Office 365. And you also have a look at my demo using Office Lens. Office Lens is a free app supplied by Microsoft that helps when children have hard copies, it will read the hard copies for them. I do hope you found this video useful. Please share it with anyone you know who could benefit. I'd be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, as doing so really helps others find this information. If you hit the bell button once you've subscribed, you'll be notified when I create new videos. I've produced some comprehensive free resources to help dyslexics achieve. 
Details on how to download them are below. Let's work together to help all learners achieve.